Welcome back to another video guys. We have traveled thousands of miles and are currently in the heart of the Peruvian Amazon. We have traveled all this way to find some of the super incredibly cryptic and rare snakes. We're gonna be out here for 10 days at two separate locations. We are with Jeff, Brian from Rattlesnake Solutions and other really incredible cool people. We're gonna be doing all sorts of things, participating in some activities that we've never done before, visiting different villages, trying new foods, and of course, finding some incredibly cool snakes. Let's get to it and see what this next 10 days brings us. We're here, and uh, we're in currently, the tambo. yeah, we're in the tambo. Currently trying to scare the wasps out of the tambo. Yeah. And look at this massive, whatever the frick that is. Look at this thing, the size of my hand. Trying to slide it. Here, you want it? That thing's amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's biting. <laughs> he's biting really hard. Yeah, now he's on your chest. Look how he's like. <laughs> he's your shoulder pet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh, it's going on. It's, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's on your. <laughs> Stuff like that. Okay. All right, buddy. You you can go on your tree yeah, or something. Yeah. Bye. All right. So Jeff and I are waddling around looking for dart frogs. It's about eleven o'clock. Dart frogs. There are some. Well, like in pictures, they look like that big. But really, they're like tiny, tiny little things. Way small. And you just barely see a little pop in the leaves. That's the main goal right now, but of course there's all sorts of stuff we could see. So I'm using my phone from a call I heard earlier. Hear that? Dude, check out this dart frog, dude. Holy smokes. Oh my word. I don't know if that's a reticulated actually. Dude, that's bonkers. Okay, yeah, that's a lifer for me for sure, so we're gonna get some pictures. Look at the spots on that thing. That is just... So we have a lot of frogs that we're looking at and uh, we have a lot of them in these containers very temporarily. We keep them in here as short as possible. We don't leave them there for too long periods of times. Jeff's got the setup here. He's got his uh, diffuser. We basically bring the frogs in here, get the diffuser set up, get the frogs posted up like that and snap some shots. So There you go. I'm done. Perfect. So literally anything could be low level, mid level, way up in the canopy, under leaves, on leaves, on logs, under logs. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So we basically just walk rather slow through all of this. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> I got it. Oh wow, it's so cool. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. Wow, dude. Oh. I freaking five, dude. Oh. Foot five, foot five. Boom. Boom! Oh my gosh. Holy crap! That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, oh. dude. So this is a rainbow boa. We're out here looking for frogs and... Whoa! <laughs> dude! Whoa! Hey! I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> oh wow. wow. That is cool. This guy still isn't nearly as big as they get. Um, but he is still phenomenal. Jeff just saw him right on the edge of the trail. I'm shaking. These guys have wicked, wicked teeth um, for a very good reason. They gotta hold on to their prey, but that is just freaking cool. Rainbow boa, woohoo! And this is exactly why they call them rainbow boas. Look at that iridescent. Look at that. Oh, Jiminy crickets, dude. Hey, Brian. Whoa! Oh. No okay. joke. Okay. He just pulled okay. up with something okay. cooler. Okay. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's a Kribo, dude. Wow. Holy crap. No way, dude. That is a huge snake. Check that out. This is a 
Kribo, yellow-tailed Kribo. He's huge. So he's got this gorgeous black top here and fades down into this very, very pretty yellow tail, which is where they get their common name, yellow tail Kribo. This is an indigo snake. This is my first indigo snake ever. It is a very, very dominant snake. They're snake eaters, very opportunistic feeders. They will feed on just about anything. They are primarily diurnal snakes, which means they're moving during the day. Yeah, that's the yellow tail Kribo, AKA massive dope snake. But this is definitely a huge highlight of this trip. This is fantastic Kribo. Welcome to the Amazon. Big turn up tail gecko. Check that thing out. There we go. Got him crawled right up on me. There's a very large gecko. Holy cow. There you go, buddy. Boop. <laughs> Alright, so Andrew just got his hands on one of these guys, and this is a amoeba, which is a very quick moving lizard. Phenomenal looking lizard, as you can tell. This is one of the really spectacular looking dudes. Um, but yeah, just another quick side thing that we're really excited to see out here. They look like little tegus, for those that know what a tegu is. Pretty freaking cool. Waiting for it to start getting dark. I can't really talk right now because I'm just tired. It's been crazy. <laughs> I can't even think. We got many days of this, so here we go. All right, Jeff. We are heading out for the first <laughs> night expedition. Yep. And in case you couldn't see his eyes, you can now. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go find some snakes. Hey, aren't you that rattlesnake solutions guy? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm not finding any. Look <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at the I found the first yeah. snake. Check that out. Wait. I walked right past it. Yeah, Brian did too. I'm not finding any. <laughs> wow, that's cool. First snake. Wow, this is cool. Its tail's freaking me out because it's so long and it's all in my arm hair. I love these things. Oh. Nice, dude. Rainbow boa, man. Holy wow. crap. Wow. No way. That's brand new. Look at how pretty it is. <laughs> Stop, they find you. This is a very, very, very young one, regardless. A rainbow boa. <laughs> Holy smokes. So tonight went well. Uh, Jeff found, um, you know what, I'm not even going to say. I'm just going to say it was like really freaking awesome, and you'll just have to check it out in the morning. Caymans. Anyway. All right, off to bed, and uh, we'll check out some cool snakes in the morning, see what we got. All right, guys, good morning. I slept like a rock, but we're gonna go eat some breakfast, get the day started, and go from there. Okay, let's do it. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me fear. It's our first morning here at the base, so anyway, I'm gonna show you some of those snakes before we release them. Um, some of the snakes that we found last night, so stay tuned. Well, what do you got there, Jill? Look at this beautiful little angelic soul. <laughs> Look at that guy. Little rainbow boa. Look at that guy. Cool. Check that out. This is an insanely cool snake. Very common in the pet trade, but freaking phenomenal to see in the wild. This is a rainbow boa. This is definitely a very, very small rainbow boa, but nonetheless, a freaking cool snake. Um, one of my favorite things about these guys is actually not just the rainbow iridescent that they get their name from. So if you look all along the side of their body, they got these gorgeous rings or circles that go all across the body, which kind of helps you find them within the leaf litter at night because they shine. But these guys are just absolutely phenomenal snakes. This is definitely something that I'm super stoked about seeing. All right, here's Jeff with his fantastic coral snake find. Corys. Or Corys. Corys fantastic coral snake find and his first coral snake ever. And it is a freaking awesome snake. We're just snapping some pictures of it. <laughs> when you're in the Amazon, you kind of have to charge your devices in interesting ways. This, this is, this is uh, life, you know, life. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cool snakes that we got last night is this freaking thing. This is a pseudo boa. A pseudo boa. This is a mildly venomous snake. That red coloration there, freaking awesome. They got that gorgeous black head there that you can see. They're a very fidgety snake, but very, very cool nonetheless. But yeah, we're gonna snap some pictures of this guy and we're going to let him go right back where he was. We have a GPS coordinate. Uh, but yeah, let's check out some of the other snakes from last night. Check this out. Look at that. That is a smooth fronted caiman. Before I even start, I do not recommend that you catch one of these guys yourself. You can get hurt. So don't watch this video and think, oh, 
It's easy to do, it's safe to do, it's really not. I'm putting myself at risk doing it, and I definitely do not recommend doing it yourself. Behind us, we have tons of channels of waters and creeks that we can find these guys, and this guy was actually in a very, very shallow creek. It's very dry out here right now. Jeffrey was able to pounce on this guy. So these guys are dwarf caiman, they're opportunistic feeders. They'll jump out of the water to grab whatever they can off the banks. These guys don't get much bigger than five, six, maybe six and a half feet long. They've got absolutely spectacular scales, webbed feet, teeth armed to grab whatever they can. Incredible eyesight, and they're pretty common throughout here, but smooth fronted caiman. We're gonna let this guy go here pretty soon, and uh, yeah, let's keep walking around and see what else we can find. How cool is that? Wow. So every once in a while we gotta come back to our tambo and uh, reapply ourselves with some bug spray. If you ever consider trying a trip like this yourself, or wanting to see all these amphibians or reptiles that you're seeing us handle, Sorry. <laughs> you certainly do not want to handle amphibians with any sort of bug spray. It will kill them. I'm getting very excited for it to get dark again because last night was totally epic. It was the first 24 hours deep in the Amazon and it was uh, super, super rewarding. It just blows my mind to think that we have seven more nights of that. Bushmaster! <laughs> Bushmaster, baby!